Hello everyone. Welcome to Mindless Crafting. My name is Bill. Today we're going to be talking about how to use Microsoft Word to arrange, resize, and manipulate PNG files using the drag and drop method. Personally, I feel that the drag and drop method is the easiest way to manipulate these files if you don't have an extensive knowledge of how to use Word or any of these programs. It's very, very simple, very easy. Before we get started, let's really go down to the basics. We're going to talk about getting the file from your email and the downloading process. And then we're going to go into Word right quick because a lot of people are having problems getting the file downloaded and then more importantly, saving it to a place that they know where they can find it. Okay, right here, I'm in my email. Here's a file. It's that Bon Voyage set. So I'm going to download this. I click on it. Of course, the clicking will take place after you make the order, make the purchase, and that sort of thing like that. You'll see how to download it right after the sale. And you see it is expanding right on the desktop. Let's go ahead and minimize this right here. Okay. Now, right on the front of my desk, you're going to see where the downloads folder is. Here it is. It'll say downloads. See right there? Okay, and here the stamp is up here, Mamba Yaj. Now, what you're going to want to do is create a folder somewhere where you know where it is. Now, I've already taken liberty of creating, liberty of creating a folder. I call it Z Digital File, but just know that to do so, whether you're using Mac or Windows, if you right click, to say New Folder, it came up right there. I name it something. Just just say Digital. Digital goodies. I look like I misspelled that thing. Hold up. Bam. And there it is. All your folder, all your files will go into that folder right there. So when you're getting ready to look for your file, you'll just go right to your desktop where you placed it in that folder called digital goodies. And that's where it is. You'd never have a problem. Now, something else a lot of people are doing, they're getting Thumb drives, they're very inexpensive. You can get them anywhere, Kroger, Staples, or Walmart, wherever. And they can cost anywhere from $3.99 or under $5 to, depending on how large you want to make it, you can, like, $20. You, for $20, you're going to get a flash drive that has an awful lot of room. But now, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I really don't need it. Well, I'll go ahead and keep it just not since I made it. Here's digital goodies. It downloaded right into my download folder. Resist the urge to open this file, this file up right now. Most people, the problem you have is you want to open it up right now, look at it. Then when you close it out, you can't find it any longer. You can't remember for the life of you where it's at. And then you run into problems. So time it shows up, drag and drop it right into this folder. It's just right there. I'm also going to, it comes with a zip file. This thing looks like a zipper. That's the zip file. I'm going to drag it over here too. Okay. So now I have both of them in my digital goodies folder. Okay. I have, I can see everything. Now I don't need this anymore. I can close that one. Now I opened up my Bon Bon Yage digital stamp set folder. You can see it up here. It's right on my desk. I placed it side by side with my, I opened up Word. I grabbed the side of Word. So you can grab these right here. And, and you can resize them just by grabbing the side of it. So what I did was place them side by side. All right. So now. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I have Microsoft Word opened up and I have my files. I want to reach in here and start. I'm going to just reach over and drag and I'm going to click it and drag it over here like that. So I'm going to start. I'll get something to say the bridge. I'm going to click on it, drag it over here. Now, watch this. I'm going to 
you notice I have I clicked on it and I have this bounding box around it. It tells exactly where it is and what the file looks like, how it's shaped. Now, if I take this cursor, you notice it has four arrows. That lets me know that I can I should be able to move this image. If I click on it and try to move it, I can't move it. But don't be alarmed. What we're going to do, every all of our tricks are going to be in the right click. I'm going to place it over the image, right click on it. And you notice I have cut, copy, paste, change picture, save as picture. My information is down here, range, grouping, uh, wrap text, format picture. We're going to go right to wrap text. You notice it says immediately in line with text, and that's why it won't move. We don't want anything. We just want to click on none. Now, once I clicked on none, I placed my cursor back on the image and voila, I can move it all around. See? Now, I want to know about how large this file is. And if I click on it, you notice right on the edge, it's telling you the width of it is 5 and 5.33 inches, or the height is 2.05 inches. Well, that's good to know because if my card, the width, if the width of my card is 4.5, we already know it's not going to fit, even if it satisfies the height requirements. So let's say if I go ahead and make the width where it's 3.76, okay. That'll fit on my card. So let's build my scene around that. Now looking at this page, the page should be eight and a half by 11. Let's go ahead and build a, let's build a scene. I have a bridge. Let's do something else now. We're gonna come over here and get something else. Let's try the helicopter. I'm gonna drag it, click on it, drag it on over. Okay, click on it until I have the bounding box. Now, if I grab the edge right here, I can resize it right now. See how I did that? I can resize it just like that. Okay. Now, make sure you grab the corners. If I grab the side and come over, it's going to be bent all out of shape, and you're not going to want that. Well, you may want it, but I don't want my helicopter looking like that. If you maybe want to have a comical car for a kid, you could do something like that and make it look playful. But I don't want to do that. So to make it go back to its original shape, I can reach on here and reshape it. But I'm going to go to my keyboard. And since I'm using a Mac, I'm going to go Command-Z. If you have a Windows, you, you would go Control-Z. And that'll put it right back. Or I can also, let's say if it's like this, I make a move. I can come right up here to this arrow right here. See right here, this is my undo resize object and this is the can't redo. It's, it's can't redo because there's nothing for it to redo. But uh, I'm gonna click on that. Now with something for it to redo. If I click on that, it goes back. I'm gonna keep it right here, okay? Now, once again, I wanna move this down here. If I try to move it up, it won't move. Why won't it move? Because we need to right click on it, go right down to wrap text. Instead of in line with text, we want none. Once we do that, I can move it now. Uh, now you notice, how big is this? Right, here? Let's look at that first. The width is 3.6, so technically it would fit on my car. So if you wanted to have a large helicopter and have it like this, it actually looks like it's in front of the bridge. In fact, I can come down here like this. And, and it looks like the bridge is in the distance. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I like the way that looks. It's a little large though. Let me come down from the corner. Kind of do like that. Okay. What else do I want? Now watch this. I don't, it's kind of too straight up and down. It would be nice if I could kind of twirl it around or something, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, let's go ahead and do that. I can take this green box right here. See the green box? The green dot, and just do like that. I can you know, flip it all around, whatever, but I'm gonna have my helicopter looking like that. Mm, no, I don't want it like that. I kinda like that right there. 
Okay. Now I'm going to get something else. Let me get the boat. I like boats. Put the boat. Let me put it up here first. See, the boat's kind of large. So I'll click on that. Let me resize it now. Uh, that's pretty good. Can I move it? No, I can't. You know what to do. Right click, wrap text, none. Take the cursor, click, slide it down. I kind of like that. Let me make the boat a little smaller. If you really want to mess with somebody, you can make it smaller than that even. And I'll go just like this. Now, I, it looks cool right in front, right in front of the bridge. Or, if I wanted to, I could click this image right here. Make sure the bounding box is around it. I'm going to right click on it. Go to Arrange. And I'm going to send this to the back. Click. Now the boat is behind the bridge. Can y'all see that? Well, let's demonstrate it with the helicopter. I'm going to go arrange. I mean, I'm going to click on it. Right click, arrange, send to the back. Now the helicopter is now behind the bridge. Looks kind of strange though, because if it was, it would, it must be a pretty large helicopter or a pretty small bridge. Now I can right click on this and go bring, I can either hit bring forward or bring to front. I just hit bring to front. So now it's back there. Okay, let's do something else. I'm going to take, uh, hmm. Let's take this anchor. Anchors away. Okay, fine. Double click. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to right click, wrap text, none. That means I can move it now. I'm going to resize it. Grab this. Click by clicking on it. This if I go anchors away. I want to show you something. For right now, I'm going to go. Just like this, where it's right on top of everything. Looks pretty messed up, but don't worry about that. Watch this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to send this to the back. Arrange, send to back. So now the anchor is way back there. I'm gonna, now I'm going to right click on this helicopter. I can arrange and send this backward if i send this backward it's going to go back one layer back when i send it to the back it goes all the way to the back if i have i can have 10 images if i hit send it back it's going to be back behind image number 10. if i click on send backward it goes behind image number one you said it works so i'm going to hit send backward now as I, if you look really close Look closely, you can see that the helicopter is right behind the bridge and anchors away is right behind the helicopter. If I click on the anchors away, I'm gonna go arrange, bring forward. That's gonna bring it one layer. That means it should be in between the helicopter and the bridge. And See it? Anchors away is now in between the helicopter and the bridge. If I do it one more time, arrange, bring forward. Anchors away is now in front of the bridge. See how that works? But I don't like how that looks like that. But I just wanted to show y'all how that works. Let me bring my helicopter back to the front. Arrange, bring to front. I think I like that boat back there. Uh, take my bridge I'm going to send it backwards send it back that way I can have my boat right up front take my anchors away I'll make that smaller like that mm, 
make it a little larger. But you can play around to your heart's content. Said it works. Now, if I like, if you like that for the card, uh, something else you can do. I can select all of this. I'm going to start with my bolt. Hold down shift. I'm going to select the helicopter. Select the bridge. Select anchors away. I have everything selected. I'm going to right click it. Grouping. Hit group. Now, when I'm ready, I can move all everything is all in case inside one bounding box and I can move everything at once. Set it works. Isn't that wonderful? And if you wanted to ungroup it, you just hold that cursor over there, right click it. Wait, that's not what I want. Right click it. I'm gonna go to grouping, hit ungroup. And now they're right back where they were. Did that work? Let me put it back. Let's do, let's go back. Let's 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 use our undo up here. See this? Right at the top, right here. Someone hit undo, undo, and now I'm back to where I was. There you go. And then when it's time to print, I just come right up to file up here. See right here. I'm gonna go file, print. Make sure your printer configurations are correct. For instance, I could go ahead and click print, but my printer is on the wrong printer. This is for a small thermal printer. I use to create labels for the minuscrafting.com uh, store. I don't need that one. I need the normal printer up here. Okay. So this is what, what it's going to look like. Now, obviously, you could re. A position this so you can use this page better if I wanted to I could go like this let me show y'all one more thing I'm gonna cancel this first I'm gonna cancel I'm going to uh, let me regroup this I'm gonna go hold up I, I like to group when I do my grouping I start from the smallest image first so I hold down that I'm holding shift helicopter uh, I'm gonna do the bridge anchors away Right click, uh, grouping. I'm going to group that. Now that it's grouped, it should be inside one box. I'm going to take this, slide it up here. Now, here's something else you can do you can hold down options. The on uh, Windows, I think, is Alt o on your keyboard. I'm going to hold down option and drag this like this and I made a copy. So I'm going to go option, drag, set it work. So now let me, let me reposition it. Okay, it's on nine. Okay, you have to play around with it a little bit to get it the way you want, but just know that. So file, print. Make sure the configurations on the printer are correct. It's going to my Canon. Uh, something else you may have to watch for. Sometimes the paper size may not be right. Mine's is set up right. Uh, if I was going to go to printer, page setup, it's set up to letter size. As long as it's set up to that, then you may want to go to some other size, A3. See what it looks like. If I hit OK, it's going to look like this. So these would be set up to size for an A3 uh, card or A4, whatever I said before. Or I can go right back again and just say, you know what? I don't want that. I want the letter size. Okay. And now you have it like that. 
So with that being said, uh, this should give you everything you need in order to arrange, resize, manipulate, group your PNG files using the drag and drop method with Microsoft Word. Also, just remember, you're going to use the folder. You're not going to use the zip file. You open up the folder right here. Let me show you that just to make sure. I better show you that. That's the last thing. I don't want you to trip up on that. Okay, when you get these, you're not, you're not using this right here. This zip file is what all of these other fo file folders are encased in. So you're going to double click on this like this. Once you do that, it opens it up. See, so sit down is another one. The folder, this blue thing right here is what you're using. And you're going to manipulate your, your files from there. And you should have no problem using the drag and drop method. You all have a wonderful day. Be sure to visit MinusCrafting.com and check out some of our outstanding digital stamp sets as well as our traditional photopolymer stamps. Have a wonderful evening.